What's going on everyone? Welcome to Essential Style. Layers. They are a great way to add a lot more depth to your outfit in those fall and winter months and they also keep you super warm. So for today what we're going to do is we're going to discuss how to actually layer under a lot of different things whether it be a sport coat or something more casual and how this could actually keep you looking better than most other guys out there. Quick reminder consider subscribing if you like the content. It's totally free. Let's get on with the show. All right, so let's take this outfit that I'm wearing right now. I've got my light blue Oxford shirt. I've got a gray merino wool v-neck sweater, super thin, super warm. I've got my sport coat over it. And then for my pants, I'm just wearing my Levi's 511s, my favorite jeans ever. And I do have my Beckett Simonon wingtip Oxfords and some belt and the same brown as the shoes matches perfectly. So if you think about it, this outfit is a lot of just boring, more neutral things, but because that merino wool v-neck sweater is underneath the sport coat, it does add a lot more depth and dimension to the outfit. Now this thin v-neck sweater, this is actually the key and one of the most essential pieces that you're going to want to invest in if you do want to layer under a sport coat, a more casual jacket, or if you just want to throw something on that's nice, thin, lightweight, and warm. That's the importance. It's thin, it's lightweight, and it's warm. Compared to a shawl collar cardigan, which I used to wear way back in the day, you cannot layer over that at all. It's even hard to wear a winter jacket like a pea coat or a parka jacket over a shawl collar cardigan. You can go with a regular style cardigan that's gonna have a deeper V. I don't particularly like that style. I've tried it before, it just doesn't work out for me. I think the V-neck sweater actually works the best. All right, so let's go ahead and let's take this outfit back down to the basics. This is removing the top layer. Now this is a lot more casual. Let's say you don't wanna actually wear the sport coat. It's just a bit too dressy or maybe it's just you feel more comfortable without it, maybe it gets too hot. This sweater does add more depth, whereas if you were just wearing the Oxford shirt, the light blue Oxford shirt, it wouldn't look quite as interesting. All right, now this is just the Oxford shirt and tucked into a pair of jeans, the sleeves all rolled down. I would not wear this outfit. If I was going to just wear the Oxford shirt, what I would do is I would untuck it and I would roll the sleeves up. So this is kind of like that base look. This is just all of your staples, your light blue Oxford shirt, your dark wash jeans, your brown boots, or in this, in this case, shoes, brown belt. And of course, you can't forget about a V-neck undershirt. If you're gonna wear an undershirt, make sure it's V-neck. You don't want it popping up here and seeing that white thing right here, very distracting. It's going to steal style points from you. Trust me, it's happened to me, not fun. So this outfit right now is pretty basic, but this is also a lot more casual than what we started with. And that's the great thing with layers, adding the burrito wool V-neck sweater, adding the sport coat or adding another jacket, this is actually how you can transform a more casual outfit all the way up to a dressy outfit. Remember, we took off the V-neck sweater, we took off the sport coat, we untucked the shirt, and now we also rolled up the sleeves. You can go from a pretty smart, casual, almost a dressy outfit to a really decent business casual, not even business casual, just a nice, I don't know what you call this, but it's kind of like that casual, it's a step up from that flannel shirt that I usually wear, but the light blue Oxford shirt is a lot more dressy and a lot more versatile than the flannel shirt because you can dress it up a lot more. So you do have a lot of options if you layer properly. Uh, one thing you also are gonna want to remember to do is when you take your layers off, you want to make sure that the base layer, in this case, the Oxford shirt can actually stand on its own. So if I took this Oxford shirt off and all I was wearing was a white v-neck undershirt, as an example of something that I shouldn't do and something that's not going to stand on its own. The Oxford shirt, totally fine. I used to wear them tucked in, sleeves rolled up. Honestly, if it gets a little bit warm but I don't wanna put my sweater on, I'm just gonna roll the sleeves down depending on if I'm gonna leave them rolled down or not, I may just leave them unbuttoned like that because I would always, always, always prefer, if I'm gonna wear this in a casual situation, untucked, especially with jeans, I would always prefer to keep it untucked and sleeves rolled up to there. All right, so rebuilding the outfit back up to where I actually was when we started this video, now I've got the V-neck undershirt, I've got my sleeves rolled all the way down for extra warmth, and I've also, tucked in my Oxford shirt. You don't necessarily have to tuck in your shirt, but in my opinion, if you are going to wear something like a more dressy merino wool v-neck sweater or a thin v-neck sweater, which is a lot more sophisticated than maybe like a more casual sweater or sweatshirt, you are going to want to tuck that shirt in. And bonus points, if the shirt does come untucked a bit, starts to billow out, 
the slim v-neck sweater is actually going to go ahead and keep everything, keep the extra fabric looking like it's actually a lot slim. This is actually a way that you can look muscular in an Oxford shirt and a dress shirt in the winter. Since you aren't gonna be wearing short sleeves most likely if it's super cold outside, this is a great way to accentuate all of your gains that you've been working on so hard in the gym. Now this outfit is overall pretty versatile. If you actually just keep the sweater gray or you keep it some sort of brown where it with jeans, where it with the pair of brown boots, it's still sophisticated, but it's actually pretty decently casual. Now this outfit is almost the same type of concept, but it is considerably more dressy. So what I did was I swapped the gray sweater with the navy blue sweater, and I threw on a pair of darker khaki colored chinos. I still kept the same shoes, I kept the same belt, I kept the same watch, I kept the same shirt, but I just flipped the colors around a bit, and in my opinion, this actually is now making the outfit look considerably more dressy than if we were just wearing a pair of jeans. Now if we put the sport coat back on, you'll actually be able to see that the sport coat takes the whole outfit. It just makes the whole outfit come together. Now you can see we do have some good contrast between the sport coat and the khakis. This probably actually contrasts a lot better than a pair of jeans, but this is a lot more dressy than the jeans. And we do have that dark navy sweater, which with the medium blue sport coat, actually there is enough contrast. You're gonna wanna be careful with the colors here. If your sport coat's maybe this, this is actually still a pretty medium blue, but it's a bit darker. You wanna make sure that if you're gonna wear a sport coat, it's either in a mid blue or maybe just ditch blue altogether. I particularly like blue. Blue just works for me. You don't have to go with blue, but I just find I get the most use and versatility out of blue. So now this is a great way to dress up a pair of khakis and a sport coat in the winter time. Now most people are actually just going to throw on a sport coat or a suit jacket over their dress shirt, but adding that sweater, adding that merino wool v-neck sweater is actually going to elevate your style and add just a lot more depth to your outfit and you're going to set yourself apart from 99% of other guys out there that are just wearing khakis, sport coat, and an Oxford shirt or dress shirt. But one thing you're also going to be able to do with the Oxford shirt is you'll be able to see how the how the cuff pops up and then you'll be able to see the multiple colors so you've got the Oxford shirt the sweater and the sport coat this is why it's important to have all those items to have a bit of contrast because if the sport coat and the sweater are actually the same color or were the same color it wouldn't be as interesting and it wouldn't show that depth it would just look like you were in more of a monochromatic outfit and now again you want to wear a more casual jacket like this LL Bean packable jacket this is no problem this is going to keep you a lot warmer with that merino wool v-neck sweater than if you just had the Oxford shirt or a flannel on if you had a single layer underneath it. So keeping this as a two layer, well three including the undershirt I've got on, keeping this as a two layer outfit, it is going to add a lot more depth and it's going to keep you a lot warmer as well. And again, worst case scenario, you could always lose a sweater, untuck the shirt, roll the sleeves up, and you're still actually looking pretty stylish. So layering. It is a great way to keep you warm in the fall and winter months, and it's definitely going to be a way to step up your style to that next elevated level, making you look better than most other people out there. So that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped, and I hope you had fun. Reminder, subscribe if you haven't already. It's totally free if you like the content we're putting out here. And as always, appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.